and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over how the Mutt market was affected by Mutt Heroes. Now, it's pretty common sense to probably most of you guys at this point, but a new promo such as Mutt, uh, Mutt Heroes, which is pretty much our first big promo of the year, like I've been saying, Mutt 10 is kind of like a promotion, let's say. Like, not like, I know it kind of means the same thing, but like, it's kind of just like a an add-on. Like, it's like a, a little tip for Mutt. Like, Mutt heroes is the first actual structured promo mutt superstars was like a, a, a little baby little baby add-on mutt 10 was a little baby add-on everything we've gotten so far has a little been a little baby add-on but mutt heroes is our first first real promo i wouldn't call it our first big promo our first big promo is going to be most feared like our seasonal promos are pretty much what runs madden such as most feared thanksgiving christmas so on and so forth but Mutt Heroes is our first real adaptation to the game of an actual promo. Now, it's not as big as most, but it includes more cards than most. So, for that reason alone, it's going to affect the market greatly. Now, if you guys haven't been on the on the Madden market at all, you would you wouldn't know, but it's pretty much crashed uh, really bad. Most cards are well below their seasonal average that we've been seeing for the season of Madden so far. And for me, I bought a, quite a few players to give you guys a few that I picked up real quick to show you guys. I had picked up, let's see, I picked up Greg Olson, David DeCastro, I picked up, let's see, Mitch Morris, I picked up a few Mud Heroes that were really cheap at the time, I even tried out David Johnson. Now, these aren't really the players that have crashed as much, because they're new cards, they can't really crash. What has crashed is the regular players, which makes it a great opportunity to pick up cards that you might otherwise not have picked up. A good example is Anthony Munoz, who prior was going for like 280, he's crashed, and now you can get him, who I think still better left tackle than any other option. So you can still get really good cards who are the best at their position for a lot cheaper, because people are so focused on the new cards, which is typically what I like to take advantage of during a new mutt promo. Now guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. Today is the final day I'll be doing a daily giveaway, by the way. So I've been doing them in segments. I'm doing another one today. We did not hit the like goal yesterday, but I'm, I'm going to lower the like goal a little bit today because I guess 750 is a little too much. So I'll leave it at, uh, let's go with uh, 600. If we hit 600 likes on any video today, we'll be giving away 100,000 coins. Now you guys have been asking, how do you know that I'm giving it away? Well, you can ask one of the winners, Patrick. I'll, if you guys want to know, I'll link him on Twitter. He did already when I gave him his 50k. I probably have it somewhere in the thing here. Let's uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. If you want. Let's see. Okay, I bought way too many players to show you guys, but it was 50k. Anyway, so all you gotta do to enter the giveaway is go down below, hit the like button. If we get 600 likes on any video today, I'll be giving it away. And you gotta comment down below 100k. So let's make that happen, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 10k. Let's make that first milestone a reality. And if you haven't already, turn on that notification bell, guys. Now let's get into this video. Kind of a long intro. Okay, so going over to the auction block. Like I always say, a good indicator of where the market stands is the 80 to 81s. They don't move a lot, but when they do move, you can tell something's up. So personally, they've dropped a lot of 80 to 81 sidekick cards, which is going to flood the market, as you guys can see. So right now, they're about 9K. I imagine if I filter these out, I might even find them for cheaper. If we go to Mud Heroes 9K, again, there's still too many. I'd probably have to filter it out a little bit even more than that. Go to all offense and eight. Yeah, so they're like in the 8K range right now. I'm telling you guys, just by that alone, I know the market's down a crazy amount. By the way, that Kyler Murray's trash. Don't use it. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time on the 8081s. Obviously, they're down as a whole. I don't really have to tell you guys that. You guys can see it here. Now, come over to the 82 to 83s. These typically go for like 16K, the 82s. Yeah, they're still around the same range. Again, if I filter it, I might find them for even cheaper. Let's see. Yep. For, well, that's, that's a snipe. But 14K, 16K. For me personally, again, I don't really bother with these cards because these cards here, they're not, they can't, they literally can't move that much. It's almost impossible just because of the nature of what their overall is and how much cheaper can you really go on a base elite. Now, 83s usually go for about 24K. So let's see, right now they're at 22K, 21K, 21K. And if you filter it out, 21, 21, filter, you're probably going for like 20K. So that's already down a lot as it is. Let's come over to the 8045s. Obviously, the more fun, interesting stuff will as we get up, you'll see all that. The 84s usually go for above 30k. If you filter it, probably like 26, 27. Let's see what the 85. I hate looking for 85s. I don't know why. 38k for an 85. These are probably around like 35k, which is around their average. They're usually between 35 to 40, and that's also induced by the influx of all the Matt Mutt Hero cards that we've gotten that are sidekicks here, right? As you guys can see. Now let's come over to the 86 to 87s. Let's see what we're rocking with. We got 48k for this. Again, probably 45 filtered out. Guys like Julio Jones are 50k. That is insanely cheap. 
A lot of good guys you can pick up for pretty cheap right now. Shaquille Barrett, Marvin Jones, Julio, Earl Thomas. A lot of cards that were once going for like 80k are really, really cheap right now. The 87s are already in, but what, what is that, 70k? You could probably get these for like 65, 60 flatish. if you sit on them. It's kind of crazy how big the market has taken a turn the last few days. It was expected. Uh, obviously, like I told you guys, I told the market would come down a little bit more, but not tremendously. It did come down, but it was, it's not like it broke the game. Like sometimes like when Christmas drops, every other card just dies out, especially if we get a new currency because every, everyone cares about the currency, not the old cards. For the benefit of Mutt Heroes, there is no currency. So the players fall right in line with the values, which is why it didn't crash too much. But like for Christmas, when they drop cards with snow values, people only care about the snow values, the blitz and everything. So that will kill it a lot more. But this is not one of those. So here's the programs, guys. Again, flashbacks and heavyweights are very cheap. You can probably get these in the 80k range. I found them plenty of times in there. So you can get training pretty cheap right now for the most part. Now, the 89s are a pretty good training value right now. As you see, this one's for 119k. You could probably get those for even below 110. I know yesterday one of my friends got them for 105k and used it as a training option. So remember, and Khalil Mack and Aaron Donald are super cheap. So if at any point you guys have been wanting a Donald or a Mac, I recommend you pick them up now because remember, Donald's a year long card, as is probably Mac. So for me, I'm an, I already powered up Donald, and I know most of you guys are probably going to want Donald all year like I do. So if you guys want a Donald, now's probably the time. Guys like Ken Houston are really cheap now, and he's still a really insane card. I just have Pat Tillman, so it doesn't make too much sense for me to go that route. Now, turn over to the, the more juicy stuff here at the 9091 range. So, for the 9091 range, we got David Johnson coming in right at first with 173k. Cards are crazy cheap right now. Just imagine that 90 cards are 164k for Jason Wynn. Obviously, Jason Wynn is super slow, but that's probably a really good training value. That's actually probably a really good training value. Let me let me break up the calculator real quick and do the math for you guys. So I believe they're like 4,060, 4,960 or something like that. Divided by it. Yeah, they're like 33 coins per. It's it's right there in line with one of the best training values in the game. Would I recommend buying them as a training value? If they go down even more, definitely. But for now, if you guys want to pick up any of these cards, I, I like Mitch Morse, although I don't think he's better than Kevin Way, but he is like 100K less than Kevin Way. I mean, he probably went down a little bit more, so I'd have to check that out. But if you guys want to pick up Mud Heroes, remember we are getting them in segments, so we will be getting more on we we're getting some on wednesday thursday friday and i might actually be missing a day there too but as you guys know there's more coming so i wouldn't recommend going all out on these just yet because obviously more coming i already we already know all the cards that will be coming out in the stats so i was able to pretty much pick up what i wanted and not pick up what i don't want the castro is going to be on my team for the long haul for now mitch morse will probably be sold at some point and then greg olson is the best tight end in the game even right there with rob gronkowski so obviously i had to go pick him up and then as far as, as you guys can see, these are all mud here. So let me filter back out of these so you can see the whole market as a whole. Let's check out the legends because obviously the legends are some of the best 90 overalls you're going to want. And they are really cheap right now. So let's go to legends, filter them out. We're working with 180k for Jerry Rice. And I've even seen these guys cheaper than that. These are even still kind of expensive. Willie Brown is 192. He was 260 a few days ago. We got guys like Anthony Munoz, like I said, at 230. He was 280. Shen. Kevin Mawai is 240, was 280, Shannon Sharp was 280. Obviously, a few weeks ago, they did come down initially on one of the crashes, but then they came back up. Lawrence Taylor is 245, guys. I highly recommend you pick up Lawrence Taylor. A great price for a car that's going to be on your team, most likely all year if you're smart. He's one of the, he is the best defensive player in Madden, at least one of them. And especially at outside linebacker, he's the best one. Gail Sayer is a little too expensive for my blood, especially considering we just got a Saquon Barkley. Let's go into Rival It, which I did already power up. And if you guys compare the stats, Saquon already has better carrying, catching, trucking, and break tackle. And that's his 89 uh, power up card. Imagine with this full, with this full card, he's going to be the same speed, better acceleration, if not the same, better agility, way better carrying, way better catching, similar elusiveness, better trucking, and way better break tackle. That Saquon's going to be a beast. So again, Gale Sayers is not by any means the best running back in the game anymore. So I'd probably move on from him at this point, if you guys haven't already. Brian Dawkins, another guy that's came down a lot. Now, I was going to say pick him up, but the issue is that I think Ishawn Taylor will be coming within the near future. So although I really wanted him, I'm just going to rock with the power up for now, and I'll wait until the time comes. Champ Bailey, another guy that I kind of want at his price point, but the issue is I think a Deion Sanders will be coming sometime in the near future. So I'm going to wait out on that one, because we both know Deion Sanders always gets a card. So got to be expecting that. Now, let's head on up to the 92s, 93s. If you guys haven't realized, this market's pretty much like crashed a lot from what it was. It doesn't look too bad because everyone's so focused on Mud Heroes, but in reality, what the prices were, it really is. Now, Kurt Warner's not gonna move much because he's a theme diamond hero. The only way he moves is pretty much people, as soon as better quarterbacks are coming out near his range, he's gonna come down a lot. Now, it's not that people actually like use him a lot, but the fact that he's a 93 overall will always keep his value up. 
guys like Michael Vick already below a million coins, and I've seen him even for as low as 880. If he came into the 700k range, I might have to consider picking him up and replacing Lamar Jackson. Although Lamar is a he's a beast, but if they came out with a uh, Michael Vick, well they already came out. I mean, like if his price went down enough, he would be justified. This Rob Gronkowski going for 1.8 million coins. He just came out yesterday, so that's expected. And like I was saying, guys. I really do think this card stacks up with Greg Olson pretty evenly if you really look at it. He's better in everything minus one speed, some strength, and some run blocking. And people are like, oh, he can run block better. Not by a lot. I mean, they obviously, I don't think either one can really run block that well to begin with. And Greg Olson has way better catching stats, better route running, and he costs a fraction of the price. So that's just some taking into consideration, guys. But that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's market concepts and you guys have a good understanding for how we should be running this i think now is a time to buy some of the legend pieces like not the piece legends but some of the legend cards that are out there because they are really cheap like I'm a, i'll probably pick up anthony munoz i was even considering picking up sharp but i ended up going with greg olson and as far as mud heroes the ones that are going for like 170 probably not a bad time to pick them up either they are 90 overall so they really can't go down much more and then we also got the new mud heroes coming out by sometime next week i know that wednesday thursday and friday are confirmed release dates I think I'm missing just one. It might be maybe Tuesday or Monday. But we'll all see that when I make the content videos next week, guys. It is about it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If any video today hits 600 likes, I will be giving away 100K. So all you got to just comment down below 100K. Like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, boys. Let's hit 10K as quickly as possible and turn on that noti bell. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos. That's why I shove the noti bell on. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.